everybody. It's Michelle Thomas, medical intuitive, energy healer, psychic, and transformational coach with Radiant Living and RadiantLivingHLC.com. Happy December. Holy crap. Last month of the year. Hope you guys are ready. Um, welcome to the December month ahead forecast. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, so let's get started. Hopefully you guys took advantage of my Black Friday um, week long pretty much uh, deals. So hopefully you guys grabbed your deals um, while you can because that's the last time stuff's on sale for this year. So that's it for 2021. Um, so let's get started. So December 2021. Let's see what we have. Our energy for the month is self-acceptance. Self-acceptance. All right. It's time for some self-love here, folks. Make sure that you are showing yourself radical acceptance, owning the part that you are uh, in your journey, right? It's okay. Accept where you are in your journey. You're not behind, right? Allowing yourself to truly accept all of you, all facets of yourself, not only the bright, shiny side, but our shadow sides as well. Um, because it's really important that we incorporate all of these aspects to really love and appreciate ourselves completely and fully. So what are some um, obstacles or limitations that might come up for us? And it's inner child healing, inner child healing. So in order to find that radical self-acceptance, you need to possibly dig into those inner child wounds that we all carry around from our childhood. So dig in, figure out maybe some of these beliefs that you're carrying around with you that you don't need to believe, especially those that are sitting there on your throat chakra, right? Those that are saying that, you know what, you're not allowed, you, um, those things like uh, you need to be seen and not heard. Um, or that uh, you don't need to be sharing your opinions, whatever it is, right? But dig into those inner child wounds and figure out what's going on so that you can let that shit go in December, right? We all want to start 2022 with like a beautiful, shiny bobble, right? We want to start with a bang. Um, so do your healing in December. Get it, you know, as much of the stuff done, do that work now so that like in 2022, you're ready to really move forward. Um, so some actions that we can take this month is angelic protection. And that's really about one, calling in your guides and angels all the time, asking them for help, asking them for assistance, working with Archangel Michael to release any kind of cords that maybe you have attached, especially to that inner child beliefs that you might have, right? Knowing that you're divinely guided and supported at all times. But here's the thing, right? This is your team. Your life is your team, your angelic guides, um, all of your spirit guides, uh, uh, ascended masters, archangels. They're part of a team and they're sitting on the bench waiting to be put in the game. So make sure that you are giving them directions, asking them for help, putting them in the game to help you, right? We all have free will. They can't get in the game unless the coach puts them in and you're that coach. Um, so harness that power of the beautiful angelic and divine guidance and wisdom and assistance that you have from all of those spiritual helpers. Um, and spirits guidance for us for this month is holy love. Holy love, you are divinely loved, right? And really opening up that heart space to allow not only the giving of love, but the receiving of love in all forms, right? It doesn't just have to be romantic love. And seeing like all the blessings that exist in your life, right? We talked about this last month, but that open that heart chakra, put take down the walls that are just holding you back. Um, really opening that space up to love and to trust your heart knowing that it is giving you the messages that you need to hear in order to help you move forward, right? That's part of our intuitive guidance system, if you will. Um, so you're divinely loved and you're worthy of all of that beautiful love in this human form as well. Um, so I hope you guys have a fantastic month. Make sure that you are finishing up any of those things that you wanted to complete um, by the end of the year. Do that stuff, right? Again, do those healings that you need to heal right? Letting go of the baggage that you need to like let go of so that you can start your year fresh. And if you want some assistance with that, I am offering my release 2021 workshop, which is an energy clearing as well as an intention setting workshop that's going to be on New Year's Eve at 10 a.m. Mountain, noon Eastern. It's going to be in the morning so that we can do all that work and then go out and, and celebrate the new year. Um, so I'm doing that. Again, you can find all that information on radiantlivinghlc.com um, or on Facebook, Radiant Living HLC. Um, for more information to sign up and register, um, it's going to be a powerful event. I did this last year. 
it was incredible the amount of energy that moved through all of us and some of the beautiful intentions that the workshop goers uh, really sort of got into so i can't wait to uh, share that with you guys again this year um so if you're interested or you have any questions you can dm me email me um you, all of the ways so i hope you guys have a fabulous month and reach out if i can be assistant and i will talk to you guys all soon